Hello there, presumed Warner Brothers executive. This is an intervention. Let's not play games. We both know what's coming. The Justice League Snyder Cut's already arrived and the soft reset of the DC Extended Universe is just around the corner with the Flash movie. You're gonna do it again. You're gonna reboot Superman. And based on all your previous attempts, I know you wanna stuff that reboot with more awkward Jesus metaphors than an uncomfortable Thanksgiving dinner with your over-religious extended family members. I get the impulse, I really do. But you have the wrong biblical figure. Superman isn't space Jesus. Superman is space Moses. Think about the cliff notes of the story. A child is born to a loving family that's not allowed to keep him due to catastrophic circumstances outside their control. He's then set in a basket and cast adrift when all hope was lost. Then, adopted by a loving family, he grows up in a culture that's not his own. And then when he's of age, his birth culture is violently revisited upon him and he has to choose which heritage he sides with. Now, did I just read that off the Wikipedia page from the Man of Steel or from the part of the Torah that's recited during Passover? I'll never tell. Face it, Superman is the Prince of Egypt, right down to the follicle length slash hairstyle choice of his primary antagonist. I raise this comparison, not just because it's a fun little factoid, but because I think the Moses story offers a blueprint that could help fix what has always been the weakest part of the cinematic Superman story so far. The middle part. We all know where a Superman origin story starts, AKA baby in a space basket. And we all know where a modern Superman origin story needs to end, AKA giant CGI super fight. But if Clark is as pure of heart as all these movies insist on portraying him, I still haven't seen a compelling reason from these screenplays why he wouldn't be saving people all the time as soon as he discovers his powers. And don't try to sell me on this kind of as an explanation. This is stupid, you know it. Just like Superman's story, everyone remembers where Moses' origin story starts. Baby in a wicker basket. And then giant wet CGI super fans. But they don't remember the middle part of the story, and that's really the most interesting bit. The thing people forget about Moses' middle act is he done f***ed up. Everybody kind of forgets that one time Moses killed the guy, don't they? Few people remember that Moses tried to do the whole lead the Israelites thing once before it actually stuck, back when he was Prince of Egypt. And it ended so horribly that he was rejected by his people and forced to flee into the desert to become a nobody for 40 years. He was haunted for all those decades with the thought that I had my moment to be the chosen one and I choked, I blew it, I'm not the guy. Here's the thing though, Moses wasn't wrong about his calling. He was supposed to be the chosen savior all along. What he was wrong about was the timing. Young, arrogant Moses didn't understand that God needed him to mature in anonymity first, to become, quote, the most humble man who'd ever lived before he could fulfill his destiny. Moses needed to live in the desert for 40 years so he could learn to lead other people through it too. I think a Superman story with this as the middle part could be incredibly powerful storytelling. My advice, start the movie with the space basket stuff. Bring Clark to Earth. Have him think he's hot shit. Then have him try to be the savior of the world really young and have him mess that up big time. Have him think he's not the guy. Have him mature in quiet, character-driven anonymity. And then have an emissary of Krypton enslave the world. Have a Clark who thought his moment passed him by be our only hope. And then have him tell Krypton to let my people go. How unifying and frankly empowering would it be to have a Superman movie that is thematically centered around the concept of a reverse Moses? And by that I'm not referring to the name of some obscure sex act that I'm sure I could find in Urban Dictionary if I looked for it. But by reverse Moses, I mean the idea that your found family, the family you choose in life, and the noble ideals that they instill in you are so much more important than bloodlines or genetics or where you're born or where you come from or any of that stuff that you don't get to pick in life. I mean, there's a couple superhero movies that thematically do, but not many. I mean, I'd watch it. Now for casting your new Superman movie, I have two words. Andrew Garfield. Can't miss. Take it to the bank.